Hey, it's Brigzar. It's time for Bet. Brigzar Answer Thingy. That's where I answer your questions and I take my garbage to the dump at the same time. Well, actually, that's not what I do every time, but that's what we're doing this time. We're going to the dump to take off some garbage. It's free to do that, so that's why I do it. So anyway, we're going to answer a question, first of all, from Jonathan Risen, who asks, what, what, if I could talk, look at the road. He says, what would you change, oh, I can't talk. The light is red. So the question, now the light is green. Hang on, the camera may move while I go around the curve. He asks, would you change your name from Brigzar to Brick Shark when you do, see, I told you. Right turn, centripetal force. That was centripetal force, by the way. There you go. All right. Some people like to say centrifugal, but centripetal. So anyway, would you change, would I change my name from Brick, Brick Czar to Brick Shark when I do the videos? Well, there's two problems with that. One is YouTube will only allow you to change your name a couple of times every six months or so, and that causes problems. And another problem I learned from changing the name or adding other things to the name is that in the long term it will delay or make it even impossible to get the verified check mark. So that's one thing I'm working at to get is the verified check mark. Please follow me on Google Plus if you haven't already done that because that will help me get to that. But some people that have had the verified check mark lost it because they changed their name. I think that happened to Brick Show, happened to Brick Queen. They no longer have the verified check mark because they changed their channel name. So I'm leaving it. The channel Brigzar is Brigzar forever. Now I'm not going to change it to Brigzar forever because this thing still keeps moving. But it is now I'm going to stay Brigzar, not Brick Shark. If I do something with Brick Shark, it'll either be a segment on this channel or I even may make his own channel. Now the other question is from Anton Savar. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but he asks, what is your favorite Lego color? So first of all, that is a very good question. And what is your favorite Lego color? And that's a tough one to pick. Uh, whoops, going around a curve. This is gonna be an exciting video. It's like riding a roller coaster. All right, so, get one more turn. Went into the dump now. <laughs> Wonder how much of this I'll leave in the video. So, what is your favorite Lego color? Well, there are a lot of possibilities. You know, sometimes it might not be your favorite color as far as like colors in general, but it works great for whatever you're building that you built the most of. Like uh, for a lot of people it might be old like gray if they were building like old style castle sets and things. Some people it might be red or black. Black is a very common color in Lego. But I don't think it's going to, for me, it's not going to be any of the traditional primary colors for Lego. Alright, let's go see how fast I can do this. New segment. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like, you know, the traditional colors, black, white, red, yellow, blue, green, although I do like green, you know, colors like that that are pretty common in Lego. Um, it's not going to be one of those. And there are some interesting colors like chrome, like chrome silver or chrome gold. I think it would be cool to get a lot of different elements in chrome silver where you could build anything out of chrome silver, but there's so few parts that Lego actually made. You can get custom items that people have chrome, chromized 
And the camera is about to move again because I'm about to make a left turn. Oh, I think I can do this. Didn't move too much at the time. So, what is the color that I always add, or used to always add, to my brake link orders? Party Gras Man, you know the answer. It was pink. So pink was the, is probably the only color that I specifically collected for that color. Not that I liked pink more than other colors, but I collected classic pink, not the new bright pink that's in all the sets now. I'm talking about the pink that they discontinued in 2004. So, but it's like I don't really build anything out of pink. Um, I am kind of liking the trans neon green now that you can do black light stuff with. So, I'm going to say it's between those two, trans neon green and pink. So now you tell me in the comments what is your favorite color and why. Is it because of what you can build out of Lego or is it just because you just like that color? You know, like some people just like blue or some people like green or red or purple. Um, but what is your favorite Lego color? Now leave that in the comments below. And also, would you change your channel name? I'm not changing it again. It's staying bricks are, trains are fun. It's staying trains are fun. Briggs R Toys is now Briggs R Toys forever, even though the root is J. Olson 37. But who knows? Maybe I might change Briggs R Fun to Brick Shark. I don't know. You think I should do that? Change that channel is just whatever. But or I could just I don't really want to create another channel. I got too many channels as it is, so <laughs> let, let me know what you think and thanks for watching this Briggs R answer thing. How did you like going to the dump with me? Stay with me here. Stay with me. And um I was also uploading a video. Um, I get horrible cell service at my house, and um, I'll see when I get home how much of it got uploaded. Uh, it was actually the haul. There was a haul I filmed, haul 531, and I'm going to see. I'm hoping it's already uploaded uh, by the time I get home, and then I'll finish editing it on on the computer. But my internet is so slow, and my cell service is bad. So there's a ridge. It, that we go over and it's like the cell tower is on that side and so everything on this side doesn't do very well so every in fact my neighbors were like hey how come i get such bad cell service because you know i work i used to work with that stuff and they were like i was telling them uh yeah you know we're, we're in a low spot pretty much that's why but uh, also our internet is slow in the neighborhood so it's quicker for me to take my phone, put the video on my phone, drive somewhere, and use my cell service to upload it in four or five minutes usually. So that could bring up a whole nother subject. How is it for you uploading videos? How long does it take you to upload, say, a five minute or ten minute video? Does it take you two hours or eight hours like it does me sometimes? <laughs> or if I go somewhere and takes usually if I get full LTE, I can upload it in a less amount of time than the actual video is. So if it's a 10 minute video, I can upload it in less than 10 minutes if I got full LTE. So you tell me, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for your back questions, and I will try to get to answering more of them, and perhaps have they might be Briggs with me as well. See you in the next video. I'm Briggs R, not Briggs Shark. Should have brought Briggs Shark with me. Maybe next time. Bye.